Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. About to get into hive number five, the very last colony down here in a 10 frame. So I moved them into a 10 frame last week. I made a split from hive number one on June 12th with one frame that had one queen cell, a uh, mature capped queen cell, which was about to hatch in, the, in probably about a week or so. Moved that frame into a five frame along with a few frames from other colonies. Uh, went out of town for a work trip for about two weeks. Uh, came back, gave the colonies another week before I inspected them. So three weeks to the day. Looked at hive number five for the first time and they had a mated queen who started to lay. Um, gave them about another week I think in the five frame. And then last week I moved them into a 10 frame and I was able to mark the queen within the last two weeks. I think the very first time I looked at them when I came back in town, um, three weeks after making the split, I found the found the queen, marked her, and then I showed her uh, last week for the first time as I caged her, I believe. So either way, this is just gonna be a routine inspection. Um, I do believe I gave them a division board feeder with a gallon of sugar water, and if they are consuming the sugar water like the other colonies. I anticipate that thing being empty. And unfortunately, I do not have any readily made. So I'm going to have to do that this afternoon, let it cool overnight, and then I'll come out here and feed them tomorrow. Because if theirs is empty, they're not the only one, but there's a few other colonies that need some food. And then for this week's inspection, because I just moved them into the 10 frame last week. This is the first time I've ever used a migratory cover. So this does not have an inner cover. So I'm kind of curious to see how this is sealed down, how it is to remove. This is three quarter inch um, plywood, not treated, but if you have a good exterior paint and everything like I do, you don't necessarily have to spend the extra money for treated wood. You can just buy a regular whatever that's called, untreated wood, and just use a good paint. All right, well, enough of me yapping. You can see a few bees on the front entrance circulating the queen's pheromone or trying to help regulate the hive. You'll see bees facing outward like those two are. Occasionally, you'll see some facing inward, and it creates kind of like an airflow system similar to your HVAC at home. But enough of that. Let's get into hive number five and see how they're doing this week so if if the division board feeder is empty i anticipate seeing some new wax being drawn and if new wax isn't being drawn they should they should at least be using the food uh, to create food stores like i said first time using a migratory cover Got a nice weight to it. And this is what I expect to see over time. Basically the bees just filling in whatever sort of gap in between the top the top bars of the frames and the inner cover with drawing out just a little wax, which is fine. And I don't know if this is gonna come up on camera or not, but it looks like, I mean, it's hard to tell, but it looks like they do have some food left not completely empty like one of the other larger colonies but it's not completely full either so they were a five frame nuke this is a nine frame box because of the division division board feeder so the outside the two outermost frames are new as you can see and they do have they do have some work to do because this frame is definitely uh, aren't drawn out at all. That's interesting. Let's take a look at this. Oh, come on. Actually, let me I'll split those up so it'll save me some time when I'm pulling them. And like I said in the intro, this frame, or this queen, this queen is marked, so she should be easy to find. But yeah, that's what I was looking at right there. 
That is a developed queen cell. So that is not uncommon. And there's the queen right there. Let me cage her so I can move through the colony. She is caged. That allows me to move through the colony fairly, not quickly, but I know I won't damage her by moving frames around. Yes, I mean, not a bad brood pattern at all. No. All right, so that's kind of deceiving. I looked at that side and thought that was another queen cell. And then that thing is just, it's just some weird wax formation on an old queen cell. But yeah, not bad brood pattern. I mean, the uncapped areas around the capped brood have uh, pupated larvae and everything. So they should be capped in the next, in the next week or so. Let's take a look at this frame just to make sure they're not using all the sugar water and storing it and creating a honey bound situation. Now there's, there's a ton of eggs. Okay, that makes me feel better. Yeah, there's a ton of eggs on that side. However, it does look like they're using a lot of the sugar water and creating food stores and not necessarily drawn out a lot of the new frames they're drawing stuff like that out and let me grab my bucket real quick there's another colony that had some really weird looking comb being drawn and I I scraped it down just so it doesn't become this real weird funky frame of, of comb. But yeah, if you don't have a bucket like this, just to throw wax, wax in, it's a good idea to have because it does accumulate over time and if you don't know what to do with it, you can always render it down and make your own beeswax, candles, soap. Check out a video I posted, I think last week, because I ended up coating the newer foundation. After I melted a whole bunch of wax down, I used it to coat new foundation, pretty heavy with wax, better than what you get from the bee, supp bee suppliers. All right. Kind of decision time. I'm not really sure what to do with this one because I only have five frames. I don't want to rob. I don't want to rob. Uh, I don't want to take any frames from them, really, because they have they have that one queen cell being developed. However, I do have another colony to check, which is hive number six. That was a split I made about a week ago. Or maybe two weeks ago at this point yeah so I need to check on them to see if they're queen right and if they aren't I might have a might have use for this queen cell or this frame so I'm gonna leave this frame outside the colony just to uh, serve as a reminder I still have something to do with it so kind of let's see just thinking I'll make a follow-on video for this colony um, let me release the queen put the cover back on check out hive number six and if number six if I can't determine their queen right or not I'll drop this frame in there and then move one of their frames back to this one so more to come let's get a shot of the queen being released and then uh, the last part of this video will be the the final decision that I make as far as doing something with that frame with the queen cell on it and there she goes 
All right, so she's back in the colony. You put the lid back on. And then uh, just follow up after I take a look at hive number six. All right, back here at hive number five, I ended up moving that frame down to hive number six since it looks like they don't have a queen still. However, in the last week, they ended up making four queen cells on their own. So I just robbed this frame from number six, who I am feeding sugar water, so that's most likely what that is. But just to give this hive a boost on drone comb, since you can see the, the not so discolored frames on the outside, they're pretty new. So I figured a frame of drawn comb will give the bees, more so the queen, the space she needs to start laying in and save the bees that much work from drawing out brand new frames. So there you go. Hive number five, queen right, found the queen and everything as I showed you before, but ended up moving the one frame that had a queen cell down to number six, who doesn't look like they have a queen. And like I said, in the last week, they produced four queen cells on their own. So now they have five. So their future looks pretty good. Check that video um, to see the details. And then next week, I'll, I'll show you if uh, any of those queen cells have hatched. But yeah, that's it for number five. Their queen right removed the one queen cell, gave number six a extra queen cell to give them a better chance of becoming queen right. But yeah, number five looks, it looks pretty good. Um, they could be looking better, but... We'll see if the extra space in combination with feeding them the sugar water uh, will help get them moving in the right direction. All right, that does it for now. That's it for this week. Check back next week for another routine look of hive number five. But uh, yeah, so for the nukes, so for this one and number four that, well, they're not nukes, but for the hives that I moved from a nuke into a 10 frame recently um, within the last week or so, I'll keep the entrance reducer on them with the larger entrance uh, opening available just to give them a little bit added protection because sometimes, especially feeding them when you have sugar water in the hive, if they have a wide open entrance and they just don't have the bee population, uh, sometimes that will promote robbing. So just something to be aware of. But yeah, there's a look. Here's a look down the line. It's pretty cool to see the apiary growing slightly each week. All right, that does it. Coles Farm, Jacksonville, North Carolina. Please subscribe to the channel, and if you hit the bell, you'll receive notifications of future videos. Check back next week for another look at hive number five.